What's going on guys? If you want to learn how to start an internet business, all of the compartments and components, go below and check out the mentorship program. With the mentorship program, I will teach you everything I know about how to create online income. So there's a short questionnaire, and then at the end, you can book a call where we can discuss how you can make internet money. All right, so one of the things that I find, like, let me share with you what I've been doing. Uh, last few weeks, I've been taking phone calls from people, and I've been talking to people to see from an informational standpoint, where are people in terms of knowledge with making money online and where they are in actual knowing. And one of the things that comes up to me is everyone wants to make online income. That's a sure guarantee. I'm gonna make money online. One of the big issues with making money online is knowing how you're gonna do it. Because everyone came in, hey, I wanna make money online, I wanna sell a course, I wanna create LLCs. And then I asked him this next question, so what do you wanna do? What's your line, what's your occupation, what do you wanna sell? Silence, silence. Because everyone is thinking, I wanna make online money, I wanna create this online money, but people are not thinking about how they're gonna do it. That isn't part of the equation. And that's where things kind of fall along. So let me just kind of go ahead and give you some tips and pointers on how you can go ahead and set yourself up to be successful in business. Create a business that helps people. This is rest assured one of the ways. Uh, Recently, I had a issue with my plumbing and I had to call a plumber. And the guy was very helpful, he explained everything. And at that point in time, I was held captive because I don't know anything about plumbing. You know, I just know how to turn on the faucet, turn them off, that's about it. But this, this is a service that helps people. And he was telling me that he was up to 3.30 working on a plumbing job because Fortunately for me, the majority of the places I've lived, there's never been a plumbing issue. This place is a little different. It's a little different. And um, because I needed assistance, I was very grateful to see the plumbing truck pull up in my yard. I was really grateful because I needed help. So when you create a business that helps people you number one have a customer that's like raising their hand like I need help I need help uh, one of my businesses which I really enjoyed on all faucets was the storage auction business I enjoyed the process of buying storage auctions I enjoyed the process of sorting them I enjoyed the process of selling and the thing that I really enjoy because uh, one of the things that would happen with the Hispanic community, we had one guy who came from his uh, neighborhood and he was walking around, it's like, you got some good deals, you got some good deals. This dude went back home, came back with 20 more people to shop because we had such good deals. So when you have a business that helps people, once you get a customer, it's not hard uh, to keep customers. I remember, I was somewhere off of Beaufort Highway in uh, Georgia, and I ran into one of the guys, and he's like, hey, you gonna start the business again? And this was like seven, eight years after we shut it down, and he still remembered us. So when you start a business that helps people, that really works to give people a better situation, to give them a better operating situation, it's just going to be much better for you because one of the things that I see and this is everyone wants to be a content creator. Now, being a content creator can be very profitable. It can be. But one of the big issues is you being profitable and having an understanding of content creation because content creation, 
I think each year content creation continues to morph and grow. You have YouTube, TikTok, podcast, Facebook, Instagram. You have all of these platforms with content creation and it's just all over the place. Content creation, how to create content, how to put out content. And one of the things that you don't really understand is content creation is a long-term game. And content creation is something where, based on YouTube, I know this for a fact, 90% of the people who start YouTube actually fail. And they fail because they're just trying to put some content out and get paid without a real structure and a process. So one of the things that will happen when you start a business that people need, like um, in Atlanta, there was this place called the Slutty Vegan and her, her business just exploded. She had all these creative and wonderful dishes and she just really, really did well because it was food and people need food. People need help. People need setups. People need a lot of different things. So when you start a business that helps people because they need it, number one, what they need is clearly defined. You don't have to guess. Plumbers, you got plumbing issues. He heating and air conditioning folks, your heat vac's not working. It's really like you got a problem and they know how to fix it. And um, one of the things that you will find when you create a business that helps people who need your help is at the end of the day, you, you have some of the fulfilling feeling that, hey, we went out, we worked, we helped people, we solved problems, we made people's lives better. You get a different kind of feeling when you create a business that helps people. And one, all my businesses from selling commercial office furniture to the storage auction business, to the business teaching information has helped people tremendously. It has helped people really, really do well in life. And whenever I start a business that helps people, because right here, what is uh, personal capital is about teaching you guys, number one, how to set up a business, number two, how to do certain things, how to go ahead and set up your business, get business credit, and more importantly, how to open and start a business. How to open and start a business. Because when you open and start a business, this is one of the things that you will do in terms of figuring out who your customer is, what does your customer need, and how much will your customer will pay you. Because one of the things that you have to understand is when you have a situation of a business that helps people, like right now, you could probably name your favorite restaurant right off the tip of your head because this is a place you can go and get food when you're hungry. And whenever you have people who help you in business, it's just much, much more rewarding. It's just easier to do. So. If you're in a, that position where you're struggling to figure out what kind of business should I start? Think, how can I help people? How can I help people? What can I do to help people? What can I do to create this situation that helps people? And also, speaking of help, this is what the uh, mentorship is going to be about. It's going to help you create an online business. And when you create your online business and you start making that Wi-Fi bread, it could literally change your life. When I started my first online business, pure online, that, that came from the intellectual property, I had no clue to what was gonna happen. And it literally changed my life. It literally changed my life. I want you to imagine sitting in a home office, going to your computer and seeing what you used to make in a year as your monthly income. Think about that. Think about that. So if you want to be part of the mentorship, go below in the first comment, hit that link, fill out the questionnaire, and then we can set up a phone call and we can discuss you becoming a member of the mentorship program. That link's below.
That's all I got for you guys today. I will talk to you in the next one.